All right, let's get to the show. The Jasmine brand posted a simple yet powerful manifestation quote that says, make this the last year you say next year. You know, we all do that. Now, as you mentally and spiritually prepare for the new year, what resonated with you most when you heard that quote about let's not, you know, keep saying next year, next year, next year. What do y'all think about this? Whoever wants to go first. Selena, you want to go first? Um, I love it. I love how, you know, just in general, how people are um, changing the way that they're, you know, coming into the new years. You know, I think that when you say new year resolution, um, and, and I don't think there's anything wrong with saying new year either, because then that allows you to feel like renew, refresh too. But I think sometimes it puts a lot of pressure on people to have to do, do certain things. And then if they don't accomplish certain stuff, they might get down and, you know, depressed and stuff like that. So I think basically whatever works for you to make you feel comfortable with how you come into the year. Um, I think that, I think that's what you should do. And, and I also feel like, you know, 2021, I think people, 2020 was such a fool <laughs> that when 2021 came, you know, we were expecting such a turnaround yeah. And we're still in a, you know, pandemic and it was still kind of tough. So I think people are trying to come in with less expectations, but more positive mindset, but just trying to not be as 2022 going to be the year, you know, <laughs> you know, and just kind of, kind of, you know, slowly coming in, you know, so. That's I point. Know, but absolutely everything you said, Selena, because um, that's true. The expectation of next year. And I find myself saying the same thing too, you know, sitting out, you know, peace and blessings, you know, right. in with the new. And you always, you say that because you are like, this is a new year. So new things got to happen. You know what I mean? But really, really, it's just a continuation of everything that we have going on yesterday <laughs> and, we on your, and on your journey. And you're going to add some more things to it to be able to change and do, but change comes right. whenever you're ready. And whenever you set the time to say the time is now. So next year, this year, every year, <laughs> any year, you know what I mean? That's right. right. Never go. What are your thoughts? I do my best to kind of like, you know, pay, pay, pay attention to like what people are posting, what's trending, Um, and the one thing that I did notice with a lot of the quotes and everything that it was accountability, Mm -hmm. I thought that that was the most positive thing that I saw about a lot of resolution that was like, I just need folks to take accountability for their actions. And it was very positive. Um, I really didn't see the whole usual, like, Oh, got to hit the gym again. Got to lose 10 pounds. Got to this and the third. What I, what I liked that I saw this year for 2022 was accountability of yourself and your actions and just, um, it just seemed like it was like grown up quotes to me, which made me feel really good. Like I need, I need for folks to be grown around me. Please do. That's you know a what? Really good point. That's a really good point. I uh, wasn't even going to lie this year like I usually do and say, I'm going to stop cussing. <laughs> I'm going to stop being late. I'm going to stop eating sugar. Stop gambling. I still didn't fulfill any of them things from last year. So I just it's just an Girl. extension. Like when you file your taxes late and you need an extension, I just need an extension from last year and the year before. So I wasn't going to even bother lying. I'm going to try to get it together eventually. That's my New Year's resolution for the next 10 years. That's let, me tell you, let me tell you something real fast. I, when, when this clock struck 12, I was sitting on the couch and I was not like, yeah, you know, we weren't like that. We did our, you know, I was watching, I was, you know, watching the church down to the TV. I was looking at the watch show, you know, watch night. And then we pray, you know, do the little, me and my son and my husband, my other son was asleep. He gives zero cares. Okay. okay. He was after. Um, but really quickly, I just, I didn't feel like, who refreshed and new and all of that. And I told my friend that, and she was like, um, what's in the rule book? She said, is it in the rule book somewhere that says you got to be happy and, <laughs> and upbeat coming into the new year? Like it is what it is. You know, that doesn't mean it's going to be a bad year. That doesn't mean it's going to, you know what I'm saying? How you be superstitious. Like I got to be happy coming into the new year or I got to be working out in the new year or, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't ain't in no rule books. Can I tell you for me, New Year's Eve is the least holiday I celebrate unless I'm somewhere, you know, hosting a party or doing something. But Mm -hmm. I watch CNN. CNN is the most crunked New Year's Eve coming through that I think I they made me happy that it was yeah. so I got happy buzz with them and by the time <laughs> I came on the West Coast I was out I was I was like I already didn't have fun with CNN now <laughs> they are so lit lit lit, lit, lit. <laughs> 